Holy crap, who the hell is she? <laughs> that is one of Frank's cheap crows. Where's he been hiding, huh? The old fox of laurel strikes again. That, my friend, is... Ruffian. She doesn't seem bothered by the crowd. You know, so far, so good. You tell Jacinto anything? Don't fall off. What do you think? Well, I think we're about to find out whether she's more than just a morning glory. The horses have reached the starting gate. The Phillies are at the post. Ten of them ready to go five and a half furlongs here on the main track at Belmont Park. All of them maidens. None of them have won a race so far. Let's see who emerges as a winner this afternoon. They're all in line, and the flank is up. And they're off. On the extreme outside, there goes Ruffian. Charging up to take command early and quickly. Like we might have a good one. That equals the track record for Belmont Park's five and a half furlong by a Philly Oracle. What a performance! First time starter Ruffian to the winner's circle. Congratulations, Frank. Never even broke a sweat. Have that a girl. Good job, yes, he Thank you. Looks like you've got yourself a racehorse, Aunt Barbara. Well, that's my girl. Good work, Frank. See, that's the kind of performance that'll bring people back to the track. Mr. Chairman, this way, please. Thank you. Hey, Puerto Rican. I tried to hold her back. Don't lie to me. We won by 15 lengths. That's a track record. I told you, no stick. I don't care about track records. I want the win. I want her sound to come back and win again. Now, if you pull that again on me, I'm going to have to find another rider. You understand? I hear you. What'd you say? A prayer. You're going to need it. What'd you say, Frank? Got any other cheap crows like that one out in the bar? I yeah, sure hope not. Scared the hell out of me if I did. I appreciate all you boys coming out here today. In case you're wondering, there's two reasons that my filly here is called hot and nasty. First one is, is she is hot. <laughs> She smoked the favorite in her last race by two and a half lengths. And she is downright nasty. <laughs> My filly's got a perfect record, three and zip. So does Ruffian. Well, now, Ruffian's a decent horse, I'll give you that. But uh, how nasty come here to win the sorority stakes? Were you happy with her workout this morning? Oh, listen. If she was doing any better, I couldn't stand it and the law wouldn't allow it. I'd have to slap my grandma. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're pretty confident. Hey, you bet I am. 
In fact, I'll show you how confident I am. Hey, Roscoe and Jack, bring that over here. Hey, all right. All right. I'm going to yeah. invite all y'all back here after the race for victory toast. I went out and bought up all this high-dollar bubbly right. here. Because I know how you news hounds like to souse it up. <laughs> there you go. Come on back after the race. We'll do it upright. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ruffian on the inside by a hit. Hot and nasty is second. Head and head. Ride and ride. It's a two horse race as the field turns for all. Come on, hang in there. It's Ruffian and Hot and Nasty. They're head and head inside the end ball. Ruffian on the inside. Hot and Nasty on the outside. It's trying to get fire. Come on, show her what you got. Ruffian, Hot and Nasty. I mean, the Philly just set a new stakes record. She almost got beat. It was life or death at the end. Hole. <laughs> All right, walk her to me. Something's wrong with her. I'm worried because she didn't run her race out there today. Never switch her leads. Never. Yeah, she's popped a little cold splint. She'll be fine. I'll give her some time off. And if she gets to Saratoga, it could be 100%. Mr. Whiteley, Mr. Lasseter says we're the ones that should have this. Well, you tell Mr. Lasseter thank you very much. We sure appreciate it. Pop a cork? I ain't much of a drinker. You help yourself. Wait. I'm not sure I deserve it. I had my doubts about her mid-stretch. Yeah, well, you're in the opinion business, not me. Hey. Seems a little off today. <laughs> Is that right? Heck of a fast time. Ever spend any time away from your horses? No need to. Good company. Don't believe it or not, I used to be a groom. Is that right? Growing up in Chicago, all the other kids worshipped Ernie Banks. My hero was Swaps. Yeah, for a California horse, he's all right. <laughs> Never forget the day he lost the Nashua. Heartbroken. Swaps didn't lose to Nashua, he lost to R. Carroll. Shoemaker got out Fox that day. No damn match race ever proved a thing. Oh, that's what people want to see, right? Two horses going at it one on one. The only way to win is fly out of the gate and flat out sprint for a mile and a quarter. All speed, no pace. How do you get a horse happy like that? Fuss with him. Rub on him a little. You gonna let her fuss with the Colts? <laughs> She's a perfect foreigner. Four races, four records. <laughs> Running with the Phillies doesn't seem like much of a challenge to her anymore. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a little deal. You stick to the writing part of it, and I'll do the horse training, okay? Fair enough? Fair enough. <laughs> One last thing, Frank. Is there a horse out there that can run with her? <laughs> 